Factsverse presents 10 Things You Need to Know About Mosquitoes Everyone knows mosquitoes are annoying little pests. They bite you, they leave itchy marks, many of them carry viruses. There are 3,000 known species of mosquitoes and only 80 of them actually bite people. It takes only five days for a mosquito to grow from an egg to a full-grown mosquito. You likely know mosquitoes are annoying, but there are 10 other things that you still need to know about mosquitoes. Before we get into our list, help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Mosquitoes can fly great in bad weather. The average raindrop is 50 times heavier than the average mosquito, yet mosquitoes can still fly in the rain. If a Boeing 747 were hit with a similarly scaled raindrop, there would be 2,375 tons of water coming down on that plane. That would certainly knock the plane out of the sky immediately. Some people think that insects are just too quick and agile to fly around the raindrops, but this has since been proven false. A team of engineers from the Georgia Institute of Technology watched real mosquitoes and styrofoam mosquitoes with a high-speed camera on a rainy day, and they discovered that they cannot dodge the drips, but they fly so slowly in the rain it keeps them from getting knocked out of the sky. The raindrop doesn't have enough momentum when the mosquito is flying slowly so that they can remain in the sky during a rainstorm. Texas is the mosquito capital of America. If you hate mosquitoes, the last place you want to move is Texas. Over the 3,000 species of mosquitoes that exist, 150 of them are found in the United States and 85 in Texas. Mosquitoes are deadly. It's the female mosquito that stings and sucks blood, and they are also the primary transmitter of disease, which makes them one of the deadliest creatures in the world. Every year, the malaria parasites that they transmit kill between 2 and 3 million people, and another 200 million are infected, but these people are treated. Mosquitoes also spread pathogens that can cause dengue fever, yellow fever, West Nile virus, Rift Valley fever, and more. Some mosquitoes are harmless. Not all mosquitoes suck blood, and of those that do, not all of them transmit diseases. Some don't even need to bite to feed themselves. Male mosquitoes live solely on nectar and other plant fluids. Female mosquitoes they also have a primarily plant-based diet. Females typically feed on living things when they're ready to reproduce because they need the lipids, proteins, and nutrients that are found in blood so that they can produce eggs. Mosquitoes help the environment Many mosquitoes play an important role in the environment. There are two species, the Aedes impiger and Aedes nigripes, that gather in the thick clouds over Russia and Canada, and they are a great food source for migrating birds. Farther south, they are food for salamanders, frogs, lizards, fish, spiders, and other insects. Some plants also rely on mosquitoes for nutrition, such as the monkey face orchid and the plunt-leaved orchid. Mosquitoes are amazing hunters. Mosquitoes can smell chemicals given off by humans, and that's how they find their hosts. They can also detect carbon dioxide in our breath and sweat, and that lets them know that there's a meal nearby. Mosquitoes are capable of picking up these scents from hundreds of feet away. They also tend to go after people wearing dark clothing because these people are easier to spot. Mosquitoes can be picky. If you're sitting beside someone and the mosquitoes are more interested in biting you than them, there's a reason for that. Some people give off different odors and chemicals that the mosquitoes sense and go after. Female mosquitoes have mouths that are primed for sucking blood. A mosquito can't just come over and start sucking your blood. Their mouths are sheathed, and this is the part that does all the biting. The mandibles and maxilla come in pairs, and this is the part that pierces the skin. The hypopharynx and the abram are used to deliver saliva and draw blood when they bite. Mosquito saliva prevents the blood from clotting. Mosquito saliva contains certain chemicals that keeps your blood from clotting after you're bitten. Mosquitoes can explode. It's believed that if you flex your muscles when a mosquito's biting you, that too much blood can fill up in their stomachs and they'll explode. 
Well, entomologists believe that this is false. They say it's more complicated than that. To make a mosquito explode, you have to sever their ventral nerve cord, which transmits the information that they're full. When this nerve is cut, the mosquito will keep feeding and feeding and feeding until they literally explode by feeding themselves to death. Subscribe for more!